Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at the Chennai Metro Rail, one of the most ambitious transportation projects in the city of Chennai, India. The Chennai Metro Rail is a modern, state-of-the-art rapid transit system that has been designed to connect different parts of the city, reduce traffic congestion and provide a safe, comfortable and reliable mode of transportation for commuters. Join us as we explore the key features of this impressive metro rail system, including its stations, trains and overall infrastructure. The Chennai Metro is a rapid transit system serving the city of Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. It is the fourth longest metro system in India. The system commenced service in 2015 after partially opening the first phase of the project. The network consists of two color-coded lines covering a length of 45 kilometers. The Chennai Metro Rail Limited, a joint venture between the Government of India and the Government of Tamil Nadu, built and operates the Chennai Metro. The system has a mix of underground and elevated stations and uses standard gauge. Chennai Metro Rail Phase 2 is the second phase of the Chennai Metro Rail project which is being implemented by Chennai Metro Rail Limited, a joint venture between the Government of India and the Government of Tamil Nadu. The Phase 2 project aims to extend the existing metro network in Chennai, the capital city of Indian state of Tamil Nadu, to cover a total distance of 118.9 km with the addition of three new corridors. The key focus for the Phase 2 is to connect the northern, southern and the eastern parts to the western parts of Chennai. Tamil Nadu Road Development Corporation has also proposed an elevated 70km four-lane corridor for the IT corridor from Taramani to Sirosri. The stations in Phase 2 will be smaller at 150m compared with 220m in Phase 1. Phase 2 will have three depots, namely Madhavaram, Sibkot and Punamale. The proposal for the Chennai Metro Rail Phase 2 project was first announced in 2011, soon after the integration of the Phase 1 project. In 2014, the Chennai Metro Rail Limited submitted the detailed project report for the Phase 2 project to the Government of Tamil Nadu, which was later approved by the Union Cabinet of India in November 2019. In 2021, the construction work for the Phase 2 began in earnest with the CMRL awarding contracts for the construction of several sections of the new corridors, including the underground sections of Corridor 3 and Corridor 5. The project is expected to be completed by 2026 and is expected to significantly improve the transportation infrastructure and connectivity in Chennai. Chennai Metro Rail Phase 2 is not only beneficial to the people of Chennai, but also to the India as a whole. Some of the benefits of the project to India are boost to the economy. The construction of Chennai Metro Rail Phase 2 will provide a significant boost to the Indian economy by creating job opportunities, boosting the demand for the construction materials and stimulating economic activity in the region. The second benefit it offers is reduced carbon emissions. As the project encourages the use of public transportation, it will help reduce carbon emissions, making a significant contribution towards India's goal of reducing greenhouse gas emissions and improving air quality. The third benefit it offers is improved transportation infrastructure. The expansion of Metro Network will improve the overall transportation infrastructure in Chennai, making it easier for the people to commute and for the businesses to move goods and services, which will have a positive impact on India's overall economic development. Another benefit it offers is increased connectivity. Chennai Metro Rail Phase 2 will connect various parts of Chennai, making it easier for the people to travel from one part of the city to another. This improved connectivity will also benefit the surrounding areas and help in the development of the entire region. The last but not the least benefit is the role model for other Indian cities. The success of the Chennai Metro Rail Phase 2 project uh, could serve as a role model for other Indian cities, encouraging them to invest in similar projects and improve their own transportation infrastructure. In summary, Chennai Metro Rail Phase 2 is a project with significant benefits not only to the Chennai but also to the India as a whole with its potential to create jobs, reduce carbon emissions, improve connectivity and serve as a model for other Indian cities. Chennai Metro Rail Phase 2 has several key components that make up the project. Some of the major components of the project are corridors. Chennai Metro Rail Phase 2 will have three new corridors which will cover a total distance of 118.9 kilometers. These corridors are 
corridor 3, corridor 4 and corridor 5. The another key element is stations. Chennai Metro Rail Phase 2 will have a total of 128 stations with each corridor having several stations along the way. The third key element is elevated and underground sections. The project will have both elevated and underground sections depending on the terrain and location of the stations. Another key element is rolling stock. The project will require the procurement of new rolling stock including trains and locomotives to operate on the new corridors. The next key element is signaling and communication system. The project will require the installation of advanced signaling and communication systems which are critical for the safe and efficient operations of the metro system. The last key element is depot and maintenance facilities. The project will require the construction of depot and maintenance facilities which are essential for the efficient maintenance and repair of the metro system. Now we will discuss the duration or the completion of the phase 2. The construction of Chennai Metro Rail phase 2 began in 2019 and the project is expected to be completed in phases over the next few years. Corridor 4. The construction of Corridor 4 is expected to be completed by the end of 2023. Corridor 3. The construction of Corridor 3 is expected to be completed by the end of 2024. Corridor 5. The construction of Corridor 5 is expected to be completed by end of 2026. Once all the corridors are completed, the entire Chennai Metro Rail Phase 2 project will be operational. Now we will have a closer look at the budget for this project. The cost for the second phase was estimated at $15 billion with the project funded by the government and the lending agencies. JICA has sanctioned concessional loan amount of 40,000 crore or 5.0 billion US dollar for the project. Phase 2 is to be funded partially by JICA, AIIB, ADB and NDB. Further, the Blue Line extension from airport to Kalambakkam is estimated at $6.3 billion. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.